Well, I've got several new boxes of parts. Uh, another little project here, a little sub project on my project C10. And I'm really excited about this one. We've got a drop kit to install. So let me go over all the parts here. These are two and a half inch drop spindles. I have the one and a quarter inch rotors. So that's the, really the most important thing that you need to pay attention to when you're ordering drop spindles is, or new spindles that are factory, whatever. Do you have one inch rotors or do you have one and a quarter inch rotors? They are different. Uh, I have the one and a quarter inch rotors. And like I said, these are two and a half inch drop. Uh, if I remember correctly, I ordered all this stuff off of eBay. Uh, I believe these are manufactured by Chassis Tech. So we've got these spindles. Over here, I just ordered stock replacement lower control arms. I did the math and uh, I added up what it would cost me to put new ball joints, new bushings, and everything on the control arms that are on the truck. And these were $20 more, and I have a pair. So it was $20 more, and none of that was installed. I had to install the ball joint, I had to install the bushings. I don't have a press. So I'd have to take the control arm to a shop somewhere, pay them to press in the bushings. Uh, that would probably be more than 20 bucks. So I probably came out ahead as far as cost. Plus, they're brand new, they're painted, uh, they're excellent. So uh, I've got brand new lower control arms with new bushings, new ball joints, uh, all that kind of stuff. And here's the other one. This would be the passenger side. And then I've got new tubular upper control arms from DJM part number CA2356U. It does say on there 71 through 72 C10 with disc brakes. Now I contacted DJM and they assured me that these also work for the 73 through 87. So uh, I'll just have to take the word for it. Uh, but new, uh, longer upper control arms to uh, adjust for uh, a negative caster, which often happens when you lower a truck. So, these are all brand new, got new ball joints, got the hardware, polyurethane bushings, everything set up. So, the one thing, well there's a couple things I'm missing here. One is shocks. Uh, I did order shocks, they're in the mail, I have a tracking number, uh, they will be here soon. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I'm shooting for a 5.7 drop. Now, obviously with just the spindles that's 2.5 inch, and what I'm going to do I'm going to actually cut my existing coil springs. Well, you can't really see it there, but I'm going to cut a coil, one full coil, off the bottom of the coil springs, which uh, from my research usually nets uh, two to two and a half inches of drop. So, like I said, I'm shooting for a five seven drop. I've got a six inch uh, flip kit uh, in the mail for the rear suspension. That's on its way. Uh, that'll be a separate video. For this one, we're just focused on the front suspension. So. Let me get a few things set up. Uh, we'll take some initial measurements and then I'll get this thing in the air and uh, we'll start taking these parts off. So you're looking at the dead center of the wheel well up here, front of the truck. I'm just going to take a quick initial measurement here. We're looking at almost exactly 32 inches, give or take a sixteenth of an inch. So 32 inches is our before measurement. We'll get all this stuff put on and uh, then we'll do some measurements afterwards. So with the wheel out of the way, we can get a good look at uh, what we're dealing with under here. Now I'm going to come in here and show you. You can see my control arm bushings are just completely shot. Both upper and lowers. Shocks are probably in pretty bad shape. Uh, this ball joint is still riveted into place, which leads me to believe that it's possible that this upper control arm is original to 1977. Usually. Uh, or, or always when you buy new ball joints for these trucks, you got to grind off the rivets to get the ball joints out and then the new ones bolt into place. So th this is still riveted. So it's possible that they could have just bought new upper control arms uh, like I did with my lower control arms. But um, again, it's also possible that these are original, in which case they almost certainly need to be replaced. So uh, I'm just going to start with the basic stuff. We're going to get the caliper off, get the, uh, the rotor off, we get the shock off and uh, then we'll work on getting all these sus suspension components separated.